Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 10 Binance launch pool coins by market cap. We're going to start with Sui in number one, followed by Beam, Ena, Evo, Gal, Manta, Mini, F5, IO, and then we'll end it with Alt at number 10. Let's get straight into it. Sui against BDC. Uh, okay, we are under the skinny pink line. We are still, to be honest, in a large bear trend. Sure, uh, there could be a spike out, but I suspect that the skinny pink line would act as a resistance because this doesn't feel like a breakout type of a consolidation. I'm not saying we can't do any, you know, break towards the upside, but um, again, if I had to, you know, guess right, I think we'll probably be going sideways for a little bit first before heading any higher. There's just nothing that is signaling a uh, potential bullish reversal. For Sui BDC against USD, we are also under the skinny pink line, which means that Sui USD is still largely in a bearish trend. So, yeah, even again, even if you were to zip any higher, I still suspect that uh, Sui could be heading lower. I mean, we could be surprised uh, with a move higher, right? With three, right? This whole thing is a one, two, we go for three, four, five, right? And then we just sneak around uh, the skinny pink line. That'd be great. But still, I would expect this to happen. A sharp drop eventually. So as it stands, for Sui, uh, there's a possibility we could get a symmetrical here and we could be breaking higher, for sure. Uh, but as it stands, it's still not really sure, uh, clear. So yeah, we're going to be moving on from Sui. Beam X against USD. Here we are for Beam. Does look like a falling channel though. Uh, but the question we always ask is, is this the low? Could we still hit a little bit lower first before hitting higher? Could we rally back up and then we form an inverse head and shoulders as we head higher? Best bullish case scenario. Uh, but as it stands, nothing much for Beam. Athena! Athena against BTC. Here we are for Athena. <laughs> it's just down. Any signs of a reversal? No. No. Look at this head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. Zip down, right? Uh, this looks to me like a rising channel. Preceding trend is bearish. Subsequent trend, more likely than not, would be bearish. Avo against BDC. Here we are for Avo. Avo is, um, yeah, I feel like this is a rising channel as well. So, preceding trend bearish, subsequent trend bearish. See this? Rising channel. See this? Yeah, something like that. Rising channel as well. Zip slower. Zip slower. Yeah, it's just not looking good to me. So, be careful about rushing into a trade too soon for Avo BDC. Evo USDT, we are still... Yeah, it's still unclear to me. All right, looks like a rising channel to me. Previously, it's a rising wedge. Zips lower. All right, again, rising channel. Zips lower. Rising, not exactly a rising channel, but... Yeah, it zips lower as well. So, it's just not really looking that good, in my opinion. Um, yeah, again, uh, is this the bottom? We don't know. Could we get a marginally lower low? Ooh... Maybe, uh, but as it stands, yeah, nothing much for Evo. Galsa, Galsa just rebranded into Gravity. G against USDT, anything? No. Feels to me like a curve back down though. So, yeah, I, I think there's more downside. First, we're probably going to clear these clusters of cells. Not too sure if we're going to clear this as well, but more likely than not, we're going to clear this. So be careful about rushing to a trade too soon for Galsa, Gravity. Manta against BDC. Here we are for Manta. Anything for Manta? <laughs> Rising channels. Not good, boys. And girls, not good. Yeah, more downside, in my opinion. Right. This is a... Okay, this is... You, you can view this from two perspectives. Descending triangle, or a head and shoulders. Right. Descending triangle. Again, a mountain range type of a variety as we head lower. Uh, double mountains. Hit slower. Yeah, it's not looking good though. Nothing much for Manta BDC. Doesn't feel like uh, we are about to reverse back up, right? But we're severely, severely oversold. So we're looking out for the potential reversal. Still not, not looking good to me though. Look at this. Yeah, it's not looking good, boys and girls. It's not looking good. So as it stands, Manta is a no go. Mimi! So for Meme, we actually had a target towards. Uh, 0 0.007 right now at 0 0.011 so there's still more downside to be expected and we're also forming a rising channel there's rising channels everywhere you can also view this as a 
Hit and shoulders. Right, see this? Bam, we're down. Hmm, not looking good. This this was the gigantic head and shoulders that came. And yeah, it started the bearish trend once we broke the support. And we're still expecting 0 0.007 to be hit for MIM. F5 against USD. There we are for F5. Same thing all across the board. Right, rising channels. More likely than not, preceding bearish, subsequent bearish, preceding bearish, subsequent. Bearish, more likely than not. So be careful about rushing into a trade too soon. Right. Mm, IO. We actually had a target for IO. <laughs> way, 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 way back in, uh, where was this? June. Yes, sir. In June, we actually went into the smaller time frames and we hunted for a potential move, right? And it came. It came. So we had a target over here. <laughs> way back in June, right? We saw the rising channel. Rising channel breaks lower. Rising channel breaks lower and we've already hit the target over here Ta -da! three dollars and twenty cents <laughs> uh green hey hey here we go um as it stands are we about to reverse back up not too sure we're not too sure if if io does this right goes up come back down get a very nice right shoulder oh io could be hitting higher but we're not too sure at this point of time. Ayo could still head lower. Get a head and shoulders. Continues the descent towards $1. So as it stands, yeah, it's still unclear. Right. All we know is that we've already hit our 320 target. But uh, from a trading perspective, at this point of time, no targets, no clear chart patterns. So nothing much that we can do for Ayo. Alt layer, alt against USD. Here we are for alt. Again, same freaking thing. Rising channels, head and shoulders, right? Rising channels. It's going lower. Look at this. Rising, rising channels. Zip slower, zip slower. Head and shoulders, zip slower. Rising channels, head slower. Hmm. We're probably going to go past six cents though. So as it stands, yep, nope, nope. Could the end be coming? Yeah, again, we don't know. We could still drop and get a bearish continuation and drop. And still get it and drop and still get it and drop and still get it. So we will have to wait for clarity first. We want to see big buying pressure to push alts uh, higher, right? Probably a, an accumulation consolidation phase will be great before we reverse back up. But as it stands, yeah, it's not so clear. Let's do another one. Saga. Okay, Saga is actually a coin that the boys and I have been looking at. So for Saga, hey, look at this. It's been going sideways since June sort of sort of and it has completed maybe not too sure but maybe this could be a left shoulder hit right shoulder you see these boys and girls there could be an inverse head and shoulders coming on for saga ho 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 ho, ho. we're monitoring it very very closely i still suspect that uh, we're going to be hitting a little bit lower here because this is a very noisy area so maybe after we hit towards like i don't know 130 yeah there could be a reversal back up this whole thing as a right shoulder might become asymmetrical. We're still not entirely sure though. All we know is that there is a uh, buying pressure uh, on Saga. We noticed the buying, buying pressure coming in here. It came in here as well and here. So we'll be like, huh. It comes with volume though, if you look at it, right? This was also a very high volume move. The wheels were buying lows at this candlestick, right? So I suspect that Saga is about to push higher. Right. I mean, the, there'll be some wheel shenanigans here and there. Probably sweeping up everybody first. There's also that possibility that Saga could still head lower to sub $1 before a potential reversal. Right, This whole thing could just morph into a very big symmetrical here before we head up together in November with everybody Right during all season. I'm not too sure the Saga could be a first mover. Not too sure, we're not too sure. So we're hoping, we're hoping uh, to see some signs, right? We're hoping to see rabbits. As in like, if you see a rabbit uh, jumping, I mean, if it, okay, wait, no, it should be a duck. If it talks like a duck, right? Uh, it quacks like a duck, it moves like a duck, more likely than not, it's a duck, right? So we're looking for ducks at the moment. So we're not too sure yet. We're not too sure. Even if we do something like this, right? It doesn't have to come down all the way. Oh, this would be great, man. This would be absolutely great. 
So, yep, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's still too early for us to tell. If anything, I mean, if we were to switch bullish, right, I would say we are like 60, 70% done. So, yeah, a little bit more to go. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's Binance Launch Pool Coins by Market Cap. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta-da!